What did you do today, Marnie? You just hang out outside? Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It is 9.45 a.m. and I'm just about to leave. I need to be out of here by 10 a.m. today. This is Boo's breakfast to make it easy and quick. I give him his breakfast up here. He ate most of it. Hopefully um, they'll eat a little bit more before I leave. Otherwise it's going outside. I'm not leaving it here for bugs to get to it. All of the automatic feeders have been programmed. And something very interesting happened this morning and last night. So let me tell you really quickly. So last night, Boo jumped on one of the chairs in this living room and he started scratching it. He started using it like a cat scratcher. And I was yelling from across the room, boo, don't do that. And so he jumped off the chair and he jumped onto the shelves near the windows and Splash was on the shelves near the windows and Splash was mad. He was so mad at boo because you know, Splash's job is to protect the furniture. So he was, giving Boo the dirtiest looks, and he was ready to like swat at Boo, you know, really smack him, but he didn't because Boo like, you know, kind of realized what he had done and he just kind of uh, calmed down, right? So then today, I was just downstairs feeding the cats and getting everything ready. Splash told me that's why him and Boo don't get along because Boo doesn't take care of the furniture and Splash is very upset about that because that's Splash's job. Splash's job is to make sure none of the cats like disrespect the furniture and Boo disrespects the furniture. There are two chairs in particular that Boo disrespects and Splash does not like that. So that's why Splash goes after Boo because Boo is scratching the chairs and that's Splash's job. So I told Splash he did a very good job with his job and I gave him some treats to thank him for doing his job and I uh, had a talk with Boo. Right, Boo? Boo, there's plenty of scratching posts in this house. Plenty of scratching posts in this house and there's cardboard cat scratchers too. You have plenty of cat things to scratch on, right, Boo? You will only scratch on cat things. Only on cat things, right, Boo? Boo. Boo. You're only gonna scratch on cat things. You're only gonna scratch on cat things. If you scratch on furniture, you know Splash is gonna get you. Splash is gonna get you, boo. If you scratch on furniture, Splash's job is to protect it, so he's gonna get mad at you. You understand that, boo? You only scratch on cat things, got it? Okay, I'll put the tablet on for you.
What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? Hello, Marty. How are you? You wanna eat your food? You gonna eat your food? What did you do today, Marty? You just hang out outside? You just hanging out? You wanna go take a walk? You gonna take a walk? It is 8.08 a.m. and this is the tray of cat grass that I've been growing for the cats. Um, I thought by now it would have filled in a little bit better than it has, but um, it is what it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it to the cats for the first time and uh, they should enjoy that and hopefully it'll keep them distracted this morning while I go about my cat chore routine. Okay guys, the grass is for you. You can eat it. I hope they like it. It's wheat grass and I know they love oat grass. I just hope Stella doesn't go and lay in it before they can enjoy eating it. Look at this. Simba's not even eating it. What is going on? Okay, I'll leave you guys here with the grass. It is about 8.30 a.m. right now, and yesterday I went to a local poultry farm that is known for super fresh uh, poultry and eggs, and I picked up this container of ground turkey. This is mixed white and dark meat, and because it's a local small farm, it's more expensive than a typical supermarket. So this was $7.69 per pound, but what I want to do is I want to see if the cats like it better uh, than the ground turkey that I've bought for them for Trader Joe's. Because even though this farm is more expensive, it is local and it is super fresh. And potentially the birds that they process are more healthy than factory farmed and big agriculture businesses. So... I'm going to open this up and I have some raw food for the cats this morning. I'm also going to give them a little bit of this ground turkey on the side. And I'm just going to be curious to see if they'll eat it. Okay, the cats got their food. They're getting some raw food with some of the turkey next to it. And they're getting a few crunchies. We'll see if they eat it. Boo wants to eat on the steps. Simba wants to eat over here. So far no one's touched the turkey, but it is something new. Oh, there goes Splash. He's checking it out a little bit. The cats finished their food, so let's see what's going on here. So Stella and Splash enjoyed their food. They also enjoyed the turkey. And this is Simba's plate. Simba ate all of his food, but he left the turkey. But then Splash came over to the plate, and Splash ate the turkey. And this is what's going on right now. So Pooh went up the stairs, and he's, he's sitting up there. And Simba's afraid to pass him. Pooh wants to eat his food here on the play rug. I put four little crunchies on his food. Literally four, so let's see what he does off of four crunchies. These are the blue wilderness crunchies. How much of his food is he gonna eat? So that is what Boo ate off of four crunchies. I am going to strategically place another four to six crunchies on his food and we'll see what happens. 
six more crunchies. And this is what Boo's food looks like after more crunchies were placed on it. So I think he might be done with it because I'm not putting any more crunchies on it. Okay, there's four more strategically placed crunchies. You gonna eat that, Boo? You done or you gonna eat it? Okay, this is what Boo did to his food. He officially walked away. He's out of the room. Splash and Stella are circling the plate. So my time sitting here is done for today. And here's the tray of cat grass. It's kind of a shame no one's even touched it yet. It's 3 p.m. Stella is laying on the bed with a tablet. It's not her tablet. It's a tablet. How you doing, Stella? You having a nice day? And there's Splash. He's hanging out on top of the cat tower. And there's Simba. Can you see him up there? He's on top of the armoire in the round tub. Stella, how you doing? Stella wishes that I would turn the tablet on for her. But Stella, that's not your tablet. That's not the cat's tablet, okay? I'd have to give you your tablet. You want your tablet or are you going to take a, you want to take a nap? Okay, you finish taking your nap, okay? Okay. And here's Boo. Boo's been hanging out on his day sofa today. Boo, you didn't have to move. This is one of the heated cat shelters in the yard. This was the shelter that Hydrox used pretty much all of last winter. Uh, it was brand new last winter. And it still has its spring wreath above the door. And it still has its spring flag. And Hydrox has not been using this since around St. Patrick's Day, so probably since around March. So once the weather started warming up, he stopped using it. I have not seen him use this um, anytime recently. I have seen him use the other shelter, the one that's under the house. So I don't know if he likes that one better or what, but neither of them are plugged in right now. Um, the other one actually does not even have the heated pet mat in it. Um, that's taken out in the summer. Uh, this one still has it, it's just not plugged in. Um, but what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to swap out the flag. I got this new flag at the Christmas tree shop uh, about a week ago. And I thought it was really cute. It has a black cat on top of a pumpkin. So it's seasonal, it's festive, and it reminds me of Boo. And this was $4.99, so if you like this flag and if you live near a Christmas tree shop, you might want to go there and see if they have it because, you know, the way that store works is if you don't buy something when you see it, uh, then it's gone. Uh, they usually don't get uh, restocks on a lot of things and this was the only one that they had with the black hat on it. There we go, that flag looks really cute. I don't know if I'm going to be decorating this house for fall yet because I don't know if Hydrox is going to be using it. If he starts using it then I'll decorate it for him but if no one's using it I'm probably not going to decorate it. I'm probably just going to take off that uh, that spring wreath. Let me show you what else is going on in the yard. So right here, there's like a marker and there was a rhubarb plant here not too long ago. So pretty much all summer, I've been growing rhubarb here. I bought the rhubarb plants in the beginning of the summer. I planted it here and I made sure it got plenty of water all summer because I didn't want it to die. And the other day I came outside and I looked and it is gone. There's not even a trace of it anywhere. I mean, look at this. There is no rhubarb plant anywhere. This is like such a mystery to me, it's not even funny. Because I would figure if an animal was eating it, they would be chewing on it and there would be at least the bottom part of the plant left. And I don't even see that. I don't see any trace of it anywhere. I would think if it was pulled out, it would look like it's pulled out, but it doesn't even look like it's pulled out. Everything looks just, you know, flat and normal. So, um, not too happy about this, but it is what it is. And I, I guess I'm going to hope for better luck next year. I also saw this when I was in the Christmas tree shops. It's an animal wind spinner and look at it. Can you see it? 
It looks like Stella. It looks like Stella riding a bicycle. It is so cute. She has a little basket in the front with like a fish bone and a piece of meat. So I thought what I would do is I would put this together and put this where my rhubarb used to be and uh, we'll just see what happens because it is kind of in line with the wildlife path that goes through the yard and maybe this would kind of discourage them either they're going to attack it and tear it down or maybe it'll scare them and discourage them this is what it looks like and it's really cute and i'm not really a fan of these whirly gig things but this one looks so much like stella and i could just totally see her riding through the yard on a bicycle uh, I think I'm gonna move it over a little bit uh, because then I can see it better from like the door and the window and right now it's kind of hidden by a bush. There, how's that? That's like right in line with the wildlife path so hopefully they'll just go around it or maybe it'll scare them away. Thank you for watching this Lucky Farrells video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.